What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope you enjoy my spooky lighting that I have going on. I'm just gonna do this for a few videos throughout October for funsies. But today I have a special treat for you. No tricks, just treats. Chances are, if you've ever owned or own an entry-level hardtail or an entry-level full suspension, you probably have the MT200 or MT400 series brakes by Shimano. And let's face it, they kind of suck. And I know what you're thinking. I always speak very highly of Shimano. Shimano is my favorite brand for mountain biking brakes. However, it does not include the MT200s and the MT400s. But here's the good news. It's only because of one thing. The problem is the levers. One thing that I learned when working on SRAM brakes, the caliper stayed the same whether you had the Guide R, the Guide RS, or the Guide RSC. When you went up to the RSC, the brakes got significantly better. So what does that teach us? It's the lever. Sometimes you can get away with just maintaining the same calipers in the back end and get a better brake feel and better braking power by swapping your levers. So on my wife's Polygon D7, it is equipped with the MT200 brakes that I despise. Good news is, with about $60 to $100, depending on which Shimano lever you decide to use, you can fix it. I was only planning to buy the Dayor level brakes. However, I couldn't find a pair of the levers. I could only find one side and that does me no good. So we ended up buying the XT for around $100. And today, what we're gonna be doing is installing it so my wife's brakes don't suck. So when you're performing this procedure, it's pretty simple. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is strip down your cockpit, getting the old brake levers off the bars. Once you've done that, you'll go ahead and mock up your new levers and then you'll simply unbolt the hoses using an eight millimeter wrench from your old levers and switch them onto the new ones. There's only a couple more things you need to do. And that is, bum, 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 bum. You guessed it, bleed them. So you do have to bleed the brakes. Sometimes with the front, you're lucky and you can just use the little cup and do a lever bleed, you know, the easy way, like I've shown in a video in the past but normally in the back, it's not going to work out. And the reason is because we're not really topping off the system. We've lost a significant amount of brake oil when we remove the old levers. So what you'll have to do is you'll have to fill up a syringe and make sure that there's no air bubbles in it. And then you'll take that syringe to the back where the caliper is located, attach it to the bleed port once it's in the bleed port, you'll open up the bleed screw, which opens the system back there. You'll also need to put the cup in the lever with a little bit of fluid in preparation for when you push it through from the caliper side. Once that is set up on both sides, again, just simply push the fluid using the syringe through the system. You'll probably hear a series of bubbles over by the lever go bop, 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 bop. That means that you're getting all the air out. Once the bop, 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 bop has ceased, that means that you've probably gotten all the air out. So then you'll close the bleed screw, you'll remove the syringe, you'll put the little plug back in place so it looks nice and clean, and then wipe it down with some alcohol just to make sure no oil is gonna get anywhere and contaminate anything. At that point, you're done with that side. You'll head back over to the lever, tap the lever blade just like we do for the easy bleed, and get any remaining bubbles out, seal up the system, clean off your levers, and it's done. So there you have it. You've already completely fixed your brakes, but since we've kind of torn everything up, you'll have to take some time to readjust the positions of all of your cockpit, you know, get your levers in place, your grips in place, your shifter, blah, 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 and then you're good to go. So yeah, this is my hack for the crappy brakes, and I hope that you use it because it will change your rides dramatically. And you can thank me later in the comments. I will leave links in the description below for any levers that I can find in stock. I know it's kind of difficult right now. If you can't find any, feel free to message me on Instagram or something like that, and I'll try to help you sort something out. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I hope this video was useful. I hope y'all have a happy Halloween, and maybe I'll see some of y'all at Outer Bike next week. That would be pretty dope. Anyway, as always, the ride is secure. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.